right in, my beautiful people. Got my coffee made in my Big Shots cup. Guess what we're doing today? My hair's too crazy, I need a hat. One second. Much better. Anyways, we have a lot going on today. First thing we're going to take care of is stopping by Hooters. It's not doctor stuff, stupid. It's common sense. Scratching spreads rashes. Oh, so this is something you learned at Hooters. We're going to get there at 830. We have to troubleshoot a few of the TVs that apparently went out. I believe there is five of them. So we're going to make our way over there and check those out. We're going to then check on that vending machine. We're going to pull all that cash out for the month of September, possibly count it up for you guys and then add those numbers to our card sales. Then after that, I have a meeting at a fire school. They're actually going to be measuring me from head to toe for a fire suit that they're gonna be throwing me in for a video shoot that we have in Dallas, Texas. Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville and I'm about to go up in flames. So that's gonna be happening the end of next month. Pretty excited about that. It's gonna be very different from what I'm used to shooting, but super excited. <laughs> All right, we are at Hooters and they lost video connection on five of these TVs. But after resetting the box, we're getting this weird message popping up on the screen. We've, that being said, it is a cable issue. Nothing to do with the actual equipment. So that's a wrap for me. All right guys, so we just got done wrapping up our little job at Hooters. Yes, it was a super easy job, but that's why I appreciate my work so much is because sometimes it is easy like that and you ain't gotta work your brain too hard on trying to figure out the problem. You see these issues all the time and so we made it out of there. Anyways, we're gonna pick up the money for the month of September at our vending machine, our best location. This is the Plasma Company. It makes sales every single day through the card reader that I have installed on it. So now that it's the end of the month, let's go grab our cash. Let's go check out the stock and see what's been selling. And let's get to counting some money. Side note, if you shop at Best Buy and buy expensive products, always buy at the protection plan. My GoPro 9 got smashed the other day flying my drone and they honored it. So... <laughs> brand new one along with the current one that i have so <laughs> protection plan get it all right we are in here things are selling pretty good we got some chips out right there some candy right there let's open this up grab our cash Selling. Everything's selling pretty good. We need to bring Gatorades back. Get some Red Bulls in there. Holy Toledo. This is probably the biggest stack that I have picked up from our combination vending machine ever since we've gotten the new one in. Let's get back home. We're going to count this. We'll add it to our credit card sales and I'm going to give you a total for the month, guys. All right, guys, we have made it back to the house. We got our lazy dog over here. Boss man. He's alive, don't worry. Anyways, we have our stack. This is definitely the biggest stack that I've ever pulled from this combo vending machine. This new machine has only been in there for two months, but it's doing very well. I haven't had any issues with it. Card sales are doing great. Cash sales are doing great. But do me a favor and drop a number down in the comments below and let me know how much money you think this is. The person who is the absolute closest will get a surprise sent to them via Cash App, Zelle, or Venmo. So I'm gonna go ahead and open Open up my app to give you guys an idea of what my sales were for the month of September 
And as you see me scrolling, you do see some pretty good numbers. And there you have it, $298.75 for the month of September. We were literally just $1.25 off from hitting $300 just in card sales. So, that being said, this has been definitely the best month for my combination vending machine, and I am so thankful for it. All right, we're back in the truck and heading to my meeting that I have with the fire school. It's going to be interesting. They're going to be measuring me out for my fire suit and I'm going to prepare for our video shoot that we have in Dallas, Texas next month, October which should be very interesting to say the least never actually recorded in a fire before but never too late to start right in slowly pulling in guy driving with glass doesn't know where he's going we got a fire someone putting that out just kidding it's gonna be cool and then boot size 10 and glove size medium and that's pretty much it. Yeah. The, the, other, the other one is the inseam. And you usually wear like a 20, 28 inseam paint. Well, that was pretty cool. They had a freaking van pull up on me right on site. They measured me almost like I was getting fitted for a suit, which I guess technically I am, but it's going to be a fire suit. So I'm kind of crossing fingers that I can keep it afterwards because your boy might have to save some lives when it comes down to a fire. Anyways. Heading to the crib. I think I'm going to wrap this video up, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. See you later.